Okay, wow. Cross the Gidir Scurs, um, Scurs Tori Finia, and previous called Kerdith, Mahon and Gunslin Arakid, uh, Adran with the Dereth, um, covering a Adewishan Joe Mekam Rag, and previous called Kerdith, previous called Kerdith, a previous called Waikato, and Zelan Newid, and in Caprosian Iashi, Canal Scurs Magadach and Rachel, where a previous called Waikato, in Sinhani or Gumri, Gareth Scott, Sin Benneth or Adran Gelver the Doldravana, Akino Viver Wire, Wirehu Grant. Sin fyfyr yw'r ôl rad sy'n cwblhau i flwyddyn olaf o'i rad PhD ar hyn o bryd, a mae ydy bod yn archwilio gwaith, profiadau ac ymgyrchu pobl greadigol mawri o fewn cymunedau post-punk yn Zeland Newydd sy'n synofel punk hynod o ddiddorol. Ac yn 2020, fe ddechreuad ei brosiect cerddorol i hun, Save Half Time, sy'n cael ei ddisgrifio fel genre post-punk, a'i fwriad wrth ceisio annog mwy o ystyriaeth am byncau yn ymwneud a sofraniaeth pobl gynhenid yn y gystal ag archwilio elfennau o'i hynaniaeth bersonol ei hun. Felly, ond i'n meddwl i bod i'n gyfle gwych i drafod torri ffiniau cerddorol o safwyn sela newydd a hefyd yma yng Nghymru. Felly, ni wedi gwahodd rhys mwyn o'r band pync anrem gynt a nawr yn un o gyflwynwyr Radio Cymru yn y gystal ag yn archeolegydd ac arbenigwr ar gerddoriaeth gyfredol Cymru a thi hwnt. A hefyd, ni'n falch iawn i groesawu Katie Hall o fand Chroma. Mae Katie yn un o'n cynfyfyrwyr ni yn Prif Ysgol Ceir Dydd. Um, ac mae'r band Chroma ar fi'n rhyddhau EP Cwbl Gymraeg Newydd o'r enw Llygredd Gweledol. Ac oedd hi'n gweud wrth ei bod yma bod yr EP yn llawn caneon pync yn trafod tyfu lan yn y cymoedd. Felly diolch i chi gyd uh, am ymuno â ni. Wi'n edrych, i glywed, uh, wi'n edrych mlaen i glywed gan bob un o'n o chi. Ond beth am yn i ddechrau gyda wai, wai rhe hw, um, Ellid i wneud wrthon ni am dy brosiect cerddorol di gynta, um, half time, pa fath o gynneuon ti'n sgwenni a be nath dy ysbrydoli di? There I am. Um, I think with half time, uh, yeah, like, as you were saying before, it's very much in that kind of post-punk camp um, I'm very inspired by post-punk artists like uh, The Birthday Party and um, I guess like Steve Albini, Shellac and all of that, at least in the sonic space. But um, in terms of lyrical content, it's the first time I've ever wrote in Te Reo. Um, and I think because of everything I've been looking at with my PhD, um, it was just sort of my way of uh, kind of processing that material um, because I, I've been in these sorts of DIY music spaces since I was a teenager but um, when I was younger I used to uh, I used to feel like I had to separate the parts of myself like the because I grew up in a mixed race family um, my father's Pakia or a white European New Zealander my mother's Maori um, and yeah, I guess punk and post-punk aren't really things that are necessarily associated with Māori, um, especially not at that time. So yeah, I guess half time's just been a way for me to process that and to kind of examine that on my own terms. Tin a studio community post-punk that I know with Valentin Guaid. Do you do something I'm a scene there? Sit the three of there, a fam. Well, I think uh, when I started going to punk shows, um, which must have been probably when I started university in my very early 20s, uh, I gradually started to notice that I was seeing other Māori in these spaces. Um, and gradually that led to me seeing bands that were doing what I'm doing now with Halftime. Um, there was an amazing band from um, the, uh, they would have been the late 2000s, a friend of mine, Sasha Douglas, uh, she had a band called Fantails, which was a, um, yeah, uh, just this all femme three piece uh, punk act. And yeah, uh, she was singing in Māori and I'd never seen that before. I had never seen a punk act doing that. Gradually, I discovered more bands sort of from even earlier that were actually engaging with that. But um, yeah, I, I think in terms of the scenes in Aotearoa, 
we kind of have our major cities of Hamilton, where Gareth and I are. Um, you've got Auckland further north, Wellington, the capital, and then down south, you have Dunedin and Christchurch. And kind of each one of those major cities has its own um, its own kind of scene, I guess. But we're such a small country that, you know, I guess um, there's a lot of crossover. There's a lot of blur. Um, but I think most, well, I mean, everybody that I've talked to for my thesis are from all over the country. So I've spoken to some people in Dunedin, some people in Auckland, some people in Wellington. So I think it is quite diverse, but probably the most prolifically, um, I guess, welcoming and I guess all out anarchist scene I've seen is the, um, the Wellington, um, yeah. Wellington punk scene, really great. Um, Wellington has a really interesting association in Aotearoa as being like the the artistic or creative hub. Mm. Um, I guess because it's the it's the capital. Um, it is where a lot of kind of creative industries people go. It's a very common trend that um, I guess we've seen in our department, Gareth of people that just want to come get a degree through us because it's cheaper to live in Hamilton. And then they go um, head off down to Wellington or up to Auckland um, just because it's a bit harder to stick it out. And I guess the smaller places like Hamilton. Um, so yeah, have you I, seen punk, have you seen Maori and Gafradinol in Viwiog or an Cracers or yes, I guess, so here in Aotearoa, um, and I guess it's the same everywhere for kind of BIPOC peoples, um, there are kind of styles of music that are typically associated with you when you are a person of color. Mm -hmm. um, growing up, it, it is uh, rap music and reggae. Um, I grew up, my parents both, um, both really love both genres but are also like quite eclectic in other areas. Um, so I think in terms of a Maori scene, I don't know if they're, I, I guess everybody would have a different interpretation of what that would be, I guess. It's, mm -hmm. it's quite a messy thing. And that's kind of the thing I've been discovering with the thesis in general is um, uh, a lot of these definitions of kind of genre divisions are so fluid. Um, yeah, I think everything just kind of blurs together a little bit. Or an beth yw ti yn gwneud, mae dyti neges eitha gwleidyddol yn rhai o dy gwneud yn dos. Ydy'r neges um, yr un o'r bwysig ar gerddoriaeth i ti? It's, de it's definitely my main driving force. Um, a lot of the bands I've played in in the past I haven't actually been the main, the main songwriter. I, I would often join in on bands that were already going. I think because I was actually quite nervous for years about writing music that was personal. Um, yeah, I, I, I felt a real push pull with being Māori growing up just because, um, yeah, I kind of, I associated a lot more with my family when I was younger and then I think when I left home, there was like quite a period of disconnect, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I felt kind of a lot of, yeah, I, I guess traces of guilt and stuff around that. And I'm yeah, so, um, well, one of the big things, and I think I was talking with Gareth and other people about this recently, but um, I, I've never been fluent in Te Reo, um, which is quite, a common thing unfortunately for people of my generation um and yeah I guess I've always felt a little bit of um like I need to try harder on that and I definitely have been that's actually sort of been what halftime has been for me is a chance to to write in today and to actually try to maintain some of this stuff I really struggle um, at times when I've tried to learn second languages, just making it stick is the hard thing for me because I, I'm not really around a lot of fluent Maori speakers. I only really know in my immediate community, like a handful. 
Mm-hmm. And yeah, I guess it's hard to keep that up when you don't have that there. But I mean, the music has been a great way for me to to get through learning particular phrases, getting words to stick in my head. Um, and yeah, it's even just changed the way that I write entirely as well. Like I'm constantly just trying to understand what I'm saying more. I speak to my friends that are fluent, that have done full immersion courses and things like that. And yeah, it's just kind of been a learning opportunity for me. So it seems like kind of a reclaiming of your your own culture in a way. Um, Gareth, if I can pull you in, sorry, Charles is not going to. Gareth, as a slice of the moon, well, Pakeha, person Gwen and Zella now with Gareth, Pavath or FF, my post punk Maori scene and Zella now with an egal, are the Wisleyans prive leave of lad? What kind of F, uh, what kind of effect does the post punk Maori scene in, in New Zealand have? Does it does it um, reach into the mainstream in New Zealand yet, or is it something on the sidelines? Yeah, I think, um, you know, what I was just saying about genres is, is really interesting because I think um, where we're seeing most presence of te reo in the mainstream is through pop music. So a lot of uh, originally recorded English songs had been re-recorded in te reo. So, you, so that's really interesting because you get familiar with them if, if you're unfortunate to hear mainstream radio, um, like my kids insist on having on. So if you hear them around and then when you hear the Tereo versions, you, you're almost translating. So you're picking up a lot of the language. So um, and you certainly see that 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 filters through to primary schools as well. So rather than singing the traditional range of songs that primary school kids sing, they're now singing contemporary songs that, you know, written in the here and now. So I think that's really, really healthy. But we're not seeing the same kind of crossover for kind of more traditional rock outfits and rock bands in that sense. It's very much still a DIY scene and as someone who, who who plays in that in those scenes or has played in those scenes but also someone who has watched a lot of music um, as a as an audience member I actually like that you know I like to have a scene I like to be you know going to small gigs and intimate gigs so um, it's difficult for anyone who wants to um, craft a career. I, I appreciate that, but there's 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 something magical about being part of that, and I was I was part of that in the late '80s and '90s, and and you know when Reese was playing, and and you know, and that really kind of inspired me to pick up a guitar and play, and and it's, I've been part of that here as well. So I think there's definitely a very he- healthy amateur musicians seeing that they're not professionals they're working in the creative or communication industries and doing these things on the side and there's no real kind of intent or aspiration because we're so far removed from other countries that we we're quite content with with our local scenes to some extent we don't feel the need to kind of cross over to the mainstream because the mainstream here is 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 very small subsection of of americanized and and british music really yeah, on the of it, not my dinner poi, my pobble and granddaughter of Oya, Kerzorias or America, Kerzorias or Loiger Vasa. Um, or why, where who would he son Hadig, um, a tundra, or they would he tame on Tavilan, um, Runkamaneda, Maori, Achamaneda, Gwyn, Uitin, and my bordel or tundra, see Runkamaneda, Maori. Um, are you aware of the tensions between Maori and, and white communities? I think, um, well, Y could probably talk to this better than I can, but I mean, it was interesting when Lord released her EP uh, in Tereo and, and, and the response that that um, received, that that kind of really, there was a lot of hurt that was unearthed uh, in the discussion surrounding that particularly. And I think that's a, a big difference between, um, you know, Aotearoa and, and Cymru in, in that respect, you know, um, someone who doesn't have the papa to be able to maybe uh, release songs in Te Reo, um, you know, that was highly criticised. Um, mm. And again, like uh, like Y was saying, you know, there's 80% of the Indigenous um, culture and community here in, in um, Aotearoa aren't fluent in their own language. So, that, you know, there was a big call for creating opportunities for, for Māori uh, people to be able to you know, learn their own language and and not have someone do that for them. So that was a really um, 
you know, it was, it was a really interesting discussion that happened, regardless of where proceeds for the, for the record went. Um, it did unearth a lot of uh, a hurt, I think. And so I think that's a key difference. I don't know if, what, why I wanted to comment on that, but uh, yeah, it's quite I different. Think, here. Um, the Lord situation is an interesting one as well, because I remember paying attention to that. And because um, there were a couple of things that came, it was quite a loaded situation. Because um, tell us a little about Lord first. Who, who, what kind of band is is Lord for people who don't so, know? So Lord is quite a. She's quite um, world famous now. Um, she's a pop artist. Um, she, I think, she released her first album. I can't remember how many years ago it would have been now. Maybe five, five or six. Um, and she crossed over into the yeah, like the global mainstream. I think she like performed at um it's like nirvana's rock and roll hall of fame induction and um david bowie's memorial and stuff like that um but yeah the issue with um that event uh so she redid one of her albums in today entirely and right. um one of the major issues was that she would have had major funding she would have had interpreters that would have helped her um get around the language and everything um she would have had tens of thousands of dollars behind that project whereas on a local community level trying to put together an event as like a maori person without financial backing is really difficult here so i mean that is one one of the things but then also there was a music video that was filmed for that project and it was filmed less than 50 kilometers from um where a major protest site was happening for um a, a particular uh harbor um putiki and yeah it was interesting that she decided to do an album that was entirely in te reo but ignored a very maori specific protest that was happening you know a stone's throw away from where she was filming this video a video where an entire dance group of white women are dancing like Pacifica um, dancers. It's yeah. I, I remember, I remember not being mad at first when I started hearing about all this stuff, but then I remember seeing the music video, learning all of that stuff and then just being like, actually, this is, this is quite crap. <laughs> so the, the mana unsensitive Roy and of own a and Zella now with, um, Risa Katie, we mind all the hymn. We sure as any and yet the Hedig get our tundra and a seer from Gohano, Gumri, Mount Vidwir, my habit. Risk not much of what I have seen down here in a breed. Monana Hossi tension and dwells. Sit if a keen description of Savas Favan and Hamri or Anna Gohano tension as in a. Okay. The question there. Um. Evasab Ian question Ian for Etrich Hanover at the Sidma a bead creatical and Gassi Maneki Barnam Hinigid. The Mapetha Vel Savasva Tai have ne I'll get Trevi, ne D. Gatreve, ne Pamarano di Pobble E. Bobble Ivank at the Pranity, Mahunan Sikir and Amdangos, Melm Kinian Popcorn. Mm. And today, um, and the Gumraig, but she on a grand or a ratted or the blind, a fluid Ellis Darby, so in the moment of the discrevy Ellis Darby, well, Kervor Punk, no in the fourth, and of all so on, I'm a business tie. But she my son in Galor Peth and Gathered Pop, my on Gavrum E. Bobble Leisha Barn. I'm on Deppy, give a creative group that's still in a painting, in Barn, in Squenny, in a name on band. Um, a pet puissig mel for the day. My veneer person creative goal for Nekir Varna. Those are them irreal rather of own a massive creative goal. Those are them real life, guys. Do you know what I'm going to say? My Katie and Medal. Can we chroma? I mean, when I hear this, I never did with chroma being aid. Basically, my chroma and chroma, my Katie and Katie, then I've been brave and done around there. Does a them twister or an credit growth? 
i dod o sy'n anodd, ti'n gweld sut i'n ffordd i'r recordio neu pwy sy'n dirydd rhai records, mae hwnna beth gwahanol dydy o ran diwydiant. Um, o fan gymleth yn dydy achos mae profiad pawb o wahanol, mae o'n mae Cymru'n le amrywiol iawn yn ddeirydol. Ydy. Wedyn ydy pobl pwllelu yn deall, pobl cwm bran. Ti'n gweld, mae'n y lot o bethau gwahanol yna sydd yn dibyr. Ie, yeah, wel, dyna fe, ond i'n mynd i ofyn i, Cati achos ti'n dod o aberdar, a mi'n gwybod bod ti wedi cael dysbrydoli i sgwennu am y gymuned lle ti'n byw a, a, a lle gest di dy fag i. Mae'n y byncau sy'n dyboen i di, a mae wedi dod mas yn dy gerddoriaeth yn dyweth. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, so ran kind of a ffordd dwi'n hoffi fel kind of approach-o fel sydd dwi'n, dwi'n sgwennu'n Gymraeg yw, fi meddwl bod fi mwy honest fel pan fi'n sgwennu yn Gymraeg neu yn y ffordd, ys o, beth fi mwyn yngang i. Achos, I don't know, mae'n ma wir, achos mae'n teimlo fel mwy o safe space na yn Sosnegu rhyw rhaddau. Ond, ie, um, yeah, o ran fel dyn ni wedi bod yn gweithio arno fel EP newydd, um, fi'n lyfo gweithio o fewn fel thing EP, achos mae fel short and sweet, you know, to mynd like slog o mas o'r album. But, ie, um, yeah, um, yn y cymoedd mae lot o'r... Um, kind of uh, for my sin kind of cause and about an edge of social commentary about um some of and kind of be felt to be learn and a new level from the kind of that as man um he kind of i don't infringe i or other beat it is script of all kind of to be learn and come out when we had only come in it i um see that finia can really my tie have well and come out my more eval post industrial so um been half the kind of a will ya um senior day okay mahin the kind of stim industry rag on the come out on basically than an hour so um my kind of can i on the net from a valve for my oval to be lana with an aid stuff risky about stuff on that on um of the devour all clothes yn lina fel, um, fel Google o'r post-punk sy'n yn dal newydd cyn pyn. I did like a little kind of, you know, um, homework. But ond i fel, mae'n rhywbeth really fod o fel sydd mae'r scenes bach yna, yn oedig yn punk music yn dod at y gilydd um, yn, yn that kind of way. Achos fel, fi'n cofio fel pan o'n i'n tyfu lan cael fy ysbrydoli gan y emo sy'n yn y cymoedd. Mae fel rhaid dreig gryd, like back in the day. A fel yn y gigs fel massif fel um, Full Ponty House gyda bands fel Paramo a, a, a Gati yn chwarae. A nath hynna'n rhywbeth really ysbrydoli yn y fi. So, um, o'n i'n mwyn creu rhywbeth fel yna fel yn y Gymraeg, ond hefyd yn rhywbeth sydd yn lleol o artfel ni. But, yeah. <laughs> Achos ti'n sgwennu yn, yn Saethneg hefyd yn dwyti, ond mae cael profiad amrywiol fel oedd rhys yn gweud, mae yna llawer o anodd fath o Gymru i gael yma'n dos. Am, mae glywed profiad band o'r cymoedd yn bwysig yn dweud o'r anasyn. Definitely, definitely. Fe meddwl um, yn Gymru, achos mae fel gymaru gyda fel pan dyn ni'n dyn cael sgwennu yn Saesneg ar oi, corff y gwaith mas yn, yn Saesneg. Um, I don't know, mae'n neis rhyw sydd pan ti'n cael sgwennu yn Gymraeg, achos ti'n teimlo fel petai ti'n achwyngegiad drwy fath o canon, fel, o'n i'n meddwl fod yna bach yn fel, oh god, oh, posh kind of talk, ond fel, I don't know, pan o'n i'n recordio gyda Chrissy Jenkins, o nath e fel um, cynhyrchu'r um, thing newydd, ti'n i newydd wneud, um, o fe fel, mae'n rhywbeth really bwysig bod ti'n kind of sgwennu o'n neud stuff yn Gymraeg, achos, ti'n ychwanegu'r corth o stuff, I, I don't know, sydd yn ymbarod, a o'n i'n meddwl bod yn rhaid bwysig i fel trio fel trafod fel profiadau fi o bod yn Gymraeg a dod o'r adal o ledd i'n dod, fel i roi cynnydd cydestyn ar fel profiad fi, ta fi lan yn y cymoedd mae rhieni fi ddim yn siarad y Cymraeg, ond mae'n rhywbeth rhydd i'n cyfredin yn yr adal yna bod um, chi'n mynd i ysgol Gymraeg a wedyn ni ti'n mynd trwy'r system addysg hynna. Achos mae rhyw fath o gilt fi meddwl fel um, siarad gyda fel dad fi a fel cyn y rhieni fi bod ond wedyn ni'n cael y cyfle i fel dysgu'r iaith um, yn y ffordd troddiadol yna. So fi'n teimlo'n kind of lwcus bod fi'n cael y cyfle yn anamlwg but I just need to make a rag of your school because he's so so I'm a kind of a nerd. But um, I don't know. My val and my the middle part in the door up board a guilt and a dalam badali. My val sit my gashi shara kamag 
I, I don't know, and Ruth said, and my papa got him on guilty, I'm down a page of Gatli Sharad to what Yaith, and we made a seven nature in Slaugam Ragosi, Methi, Sharad, I saw Mahina and Badali. I mean, a lot of all that ball, Dusky Yaith, ball to what I see them in Dusky Venice, and they see them to kind of Kafala, Trival, Riani, Nay, Papa Valna. Why? Oi ti meddwl bydd na gyfle os gei di blant bydd, bydd fan hwn gallu dysgu tyreo o os na fwy o gyfleon, os na fwy o barch i tyreo yn Zeland Awydd nawr? There's definitely more spaces. Um, it's interesting <coughs> hearing Katie talk about um, the Welsh schools because that uh, really makes me think of here in Aotearoa, um, I think it must have been in the late 80s or the early 90s, um, a uh an initiative was started called kura, kura kaupapa um so those was that was started by two maori academics um and basically they're full immersion maori schools where you go and you speak in maori um the entire time you're there you know all your classmates or your teachers um and would pakei house go would white people go but that public Gwynnum and have it um with the, uh sometimes there's some interesting sometimes there's debates around this and i guess it's it's interesting hearing how similar things are mm. i think in the valleys um to here uh but i think in general people are really glad when there is that kind of cross-cultural communication i think the main thing is just making sure that people don't miss out you know it's that um, Māori don't miss out on the opportunity to actually kind of, um, you know, get get it back in touch with that. And mm -hmm. even um, for like people my age and older, there are courses that are now freely available for te reo, but they fill up like that. <laughs> they just, they get advertised and then you, you're filling out your form and then you find out by the time that you finish the form that it's been filled up with people. Um, which is great. It just, it would be good if um, the government was putting more money into it so that they could afford more teachers is the mm. main thing. Um, yeah. On i mynd i ofyn i ti ynglyn â sefyllfa diwylliant Mawri nawr, bydd i teithio bod yn lwcus i deithio'n sylw newydd ac o'n i wedi mynd i llawl mae rai a wedi wedi beth â hangi a white bait. A wedi'n gwybod bod chi tod the Williams Creve and Drado Diadol. A di hona dal and bodoli. Um, ne a di Maori's uh, bobble Maori with the summit land now. Oh no, we're stubborn. We are so stubborn. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's that's definitely the um, the thing is, I just I, I wrote a song recently which was dedicated to um, I think I've shared it um, with Reese as well um it was a song based on a one of the maori versus european land wars that took place on my ancestral land um back in 1864 and it was kind of our sort of spartan 300 standoff there were 300 maori and uh like around 2000 european soldiers and um basically the leader of the europeans came over to say hey you guys should surrender. There's way more of us. And uh, my one of my ancestors, Rui Manyapoto, said the phrase Kafafai Tonu Mato Ake Ake Ake, which means um, uh, we will fight on forever and ever. And yeah, I think that phrase has come has gone on to mean something a lot more than actual fighting. It's it's because far fi is fight and it's also struggle. So it's that maintaining what it is to be Māori, maintaining the traditional practices, but also, yeah, embracing the world that we're in now, I guess. And, you know, knowing that a lot of us, particularly of my generation, our ancestry is now tied up with our like European whakapapa and stuff as well. Um, mm. And yeah, it's, so yeah, we're definitely still here. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to do it. 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 i am going to do it 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 Mwyn, mwyn i'n dig pimp y cant o pobl o gytselan newydd yn Mawri, dros bum gwaith yn fwy na pobl aborigini neu pobl gynhenid gogledd America. Gan o lygu bod pobl Mawri mewn safle gwellu wthio am gynrychiolaeth yn y Senedd ac o fewn llybodraeth leol i gael sianeli teledu ar radio penodol i gael ysgolion iaith gynhenid a mwy. O nhw'n gweud, o ddod y dyfyniad mae'n gweud, mae pobl oedd gynhenid mewn bledydd eraill um, yn bryn o niferoedd. Felly, wyt ti'n teimlo bod pobl Mawri wedi bod yn lwcus i gael eu trin yn well na phobl gynhenid eraill dros y blynyddoedd? I think um, even just knowing a lot of the history of kind of pre-colonial and I guess uh, like first contact times, um, we were in a really lucky position because when Captain Cook came over here, um, he had just been through Hawaii and stuff like that. And um, I don't know, I, I guess a, a lot of people of his ilk would have thought they would come here and just find people that were kind of scurrying about not really doing things with any kind of organization. But, you know, when early settlers came, early Pakeha settlers came here, they saw that we had a society, we had, um, you know, quite complex uh, sort of regulations and I guess laws. We had a restorative justice system. So we were in this position where they kind of had to grant us a certain amount of respect. Um, especially Yeah. So that is the Treaty of Waitangi. So the Treaty of Waitangi is an interesting one because um, there were many different versions of the treaty that were written because you you had um, you had the first version written in English and then it was translated to Maori. But there's a lot of phrases in Maori, and I'm sure this is the same um, in Welsh as well. There's a lot of phrases and terms in Maori that don't really have an equivalent mm -hmm. in English. Um, even big terms like mana, which often gets associated with strength or prestige, doesn't really mean the same thing. Um, so, and then obviously, you know, no photocopiers in 1840. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it had to be redone by hand and spread to other iwi. And not all iwi signed it none of the Māori in the South Island signed the treaty. Um, so there's a lot of tension because, um, yeah, I mean, we have all of these different tribal iwi across the country. And um, yeah, not everybody was a part of that initial deal. Or if they were, they signed something that said something different. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, definitely. And I think um, over the last few years, especially, it's just learning more, um, <laughs> learning more about the ways we were shortchanged, I guess, and seeing, seeing that it's not just something historical, that there are fallouts that you can see. I mean, for example, um, the battle that I talked about, um, that battle started because in 1863, the New Zealand government passed a law called the New Zealand Settlements Act. It basically meant that if there were any groups of Māori that were seen to be resisting the Queen, resisting the Crown, then it was legal to take the land without asking. Um, and that was what that war was fought over. And <laughs> so that was over 150 years ago. Um, my iwi only got that land back uh, a few weeks ago. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the wheels of justice turn so slow. So mana beth yn cael ei gwneud i'r mwyn ceisio wneud iawn am camweather gorffennol falle. Ond wi'n gwybod bod na brotestiad ydy bod, mae'n siŵr o fod, dal i fod, ond wi'n gwybod yn na brotestiad y mawr yn y saith deg a'r wyth 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 deg a'
ac oedd y, oedd y prosesiadau mae wedi ysbrydoli artistiad fel yna y prosesiadau yng Nghymru, achos oedd y prosesiadau yng Nghymru hefyd ar, ar, yn yr un cyfnod, er mwyn i, oedd pobl yn protestio, er mwyn ceisio cael hawliau i'r iaith yma hefyd. Yeah, there was definitely a huge boon. Um, that was around about the time that some people deem it the Māori modernist movement. You had a lot of young Māori artists in the 70s that um, were sent over to schools in England. Mm -hmm. um, for example, Ralph Hortere is probably one of the most famous of these. So he went to study um, contemporary art in London and at the time he was doing quite esoteric um, stuff. He would do these canvases that were just painted completely black um, and that he did a whole series of these. And then he came back to Aotearoa, um, probably around the age I am now. And he just got, because it was around the time of the Springbok tour. So he got really politically charged and um, he did some amazing stuff. He I, I went through an exhibition of his recently of the work he did in the 80s. Um, he made a piece um, which was a series of N's and Z's in a concentric square, um, and it equated to a swastika. Mm. And then he sent that to the rugby union, and he said, I think this should be your new flag. <laughs> wow. Um, just as a statement as being like, you're letting, you're basically showing that you don't care about apartheid, that, you know, um, that you would be fine with this happening here. So like, why not just wear it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm looking at Laura Adweth and Zella Newydd. Rhys, ach mae'n chi yn rhan o'r Adweth i beth oedd yn digwydd yng Nghymru oedd hynna'n rhan o ffurfio anrefn hefyd yn dod e, oedd yn gyfnod streic y glywyr, ne newid economaidd mawr, Thatcher. O chi'n adweithio i'r cyfnod gwleidyddol yna rhys? Eto diddorol um, efo'r sôn am celf rwan yn dda. Mm. Mae hyn yn gallu gweithio, fel y Ceitin sôn rwan, mae rwy'n sgwennu am i brofiad neu i fro yn yr rhywbeth felly. Ond wedyn, pe ti'n sôn am post-punk na rhywbeth, ti'n gallu tapio mewn i rhywbeth llawer llawer mwy. Wedyn, dwi o hyd i gweld, so ti'n trio diffinio beth o'n i'n wneud y fyr anrefn, oedd o'n i'n wneud rhywbeth yn Gymraeg, sôn am Gymru lot, ond oedd o'n i'n tapio mewn i rhywbeth rhyngwladol. Mm. Ac o'n i'n melbo hwnna am bwysig, achos oedd o'n mynd o'n i allan o yma o hyd, stuck, i rhan o'r byd mawr. Wedyn, pyddan ni'n neud gigs yn Belfast, neu Prag, neu Poprad, y dwyrain y Czech, y Gwyrinedd Czech, neu Berlin, lle bynnag. Oedd ni'n dod o draws pobl, oedd hefo profiadau gwahanol, ond oedd ni'n gyd yn ffrindia ac oedd ni'n gyd yn rhannu rhyw fath o weledigaeth rhyngwladol. A gwn i o hyd yn teimlo fod hwnna uh, yn beth positif. Wedyn, tinglyd, os oedd ni'n Berlin, ac oedd ni'n deud da ni'n canu'n Gymraeg, ella bod nhw ddim o hyd yn siŵr pam, ond ella bod ni'n gwneud gigs mewn squats a wneud benefits i bobl yn cael eu restio'r brotest yn Berlin. Wedyn, ond mae gymaint o wahanol hyna i'r peth. Um, Ddyr i'r newid ni, achos beth ar ei, y broses o weithio'n rhyngwladol newid i ni ydy bod ni wedi ailfeddwl ddim yn diffinio'n hunan fel cenedlaetholwyr o bosib yn uniaethu mwy efo anarchwyr yn rhyngwladol. Mm ond heb golli union y sdi y sgwr sam ddiwylliant, oedd ni'n colli dim byd o'n cymreitod ni. Wedyn, so ni'n gweld anrefn, a beth o'n i'n wneud, fel mae o'r rhan o'r tapestry Cymraeg, ond so ni'n weld o fel 
pegun arall i be mae'r fel Dafydd yn neud fy ymaw hyd, fod yn onest, dyddi anrym sy'n i rioed i'n ieithu fy ymaw hyd. A geto, ydych chi ddrai goch ar eich albwm chi, Dra- Dragon's Revenge, eh? yn gwasgu sathru ar, ar, ar siŵr. So... Oedd, ond yn chwarev yr peth, ie? Yeah? Yeah. Oedd clawr y record wedi cael ei gynllunio gen Jamie Reid, sef cynllunio The Sex Pistols. Mm. Oedd yn ei chwarev yr peth, mae dyma ni band Cymraeg, ac mae Jamie oedd yn ei clodio Sex Pistols yn neud y clawr. Wedi nhw hwnna'n rhan o'r peth o wthio ffiniau. We, I fod yn onest, y stori oedd, ond ni wedi gyrru postcard i Jamie um, o'r ddrai goch. Dwi'n ei, see you on Thursday, neu, thanks for the artwork, neu, dyfod yn byd mawr. A fodd ar ei roed y, y ddrai ar Ben St. George. Ac oedd o bron yn ddelwedd cenedlaetholgar. Jamie mm. <laughs> yeah, did it. I need to question him and see No, no, he just mind over him. But then, but a lot of it had to a sense of humor and boy sick. Um, how many of them left? My yeah. four of them left. And they were sunny that. You know, Petha boy sick. I did, but he did my calling the finio again he did. Felly, be bynnag dyr iaith, neu rhyw ioldeb, be lle da'n ni'n digwydd byw, lle da'n ni'n digwydd cael yn magu. Diolch yn diffinio rhywun o ran beth ti'n gallu wneud. Mm. Dyna lle o'n i'n licio peth rhyngwladol, oedd o'n i'n gallu bod yn berffaith hapus yn canu'n Gymraeg, yn Berlin, ac yna ddim problem yfyr hynny. Yn da... Mm. Ie, yeah, mae'n ymwych. Heb yn deall, be da'n ni ddaid, ond oedd o'n deall y sentiment. Yeah, a team lad, oedd yn y gyrthoriaeth. Dwi'n mynd hwnna, just, mynd hwnna yn tapio mewn i post-punk yn dyrru, ond bod ti'n canu'n, pa bynnag iaith ti'n eisiau canu yn y fo. Gareth, ond i mae'n gofyn i ti ddyn un, achos mi'n gwybod ti ddyn. Sorry. I wanted to jump in and say, yeah, you know, go for it, go for it. As someone who, who, who went to those gigs, you know, it was, it was just so important to hear Welsh sung in, in contemporary music at the time, you know, and other cities had really vibrant scenes and urban kind of Welsh is probably a less defined identity in a way. We, we, we talk about the valleys and rural Welsh, but it was it was really important to hear Welsh being sung in, in, in a contemporary style. And, and, and certainly I think Anne Revan were, everybody was looking up to Anne Revan in terms of uh, let's not underestimate how good they sounded, you know, sort of professionally. And, and, and it was just great to have that. It, it was really inspiring for, for lots of school bands. And the fact that um, they toured Taught schools as well. I think that was a really important part of the scene. <laughs> you know, it was great. Uh, on this in Buisig and there, though the Rioid and Cavion High, Nagan and the Hero, Nagan Cavadaudi, or then just the Nado, where did not them? So we sing in Welsh, though they think it is. Or then we don't give a shit what anyone thinks. This is what we do. End of. Where did not need them and Poyne. Um, on the Grovder Rosid, um, River for bands sort of an archive post punk. So, Frindian eating well, the bands well, Chumba Wumba, Membranes, um, Mekons, do it. Good minds are bands a little gumry. But, you know, other than other than in the Edo are level, um, in a way, sense. Do you hear the point I'm in it? That the them of canning the bride and the weather, and that's a big deal. Or that they just never done it right. Did the them discussions in a van? Ooh, that they canning the bride, or that they just mostly that they mean worried. Yeah. Maps. Um, only mine try to make back at them. So as far as I'm coming now, or at or need you need them. And it's often not my very very in the Isle of Lothian. You need to value that. A die artist doing metal, see then go through young. Um, at him a breed. Um, Dom James Alloyd. Um, man, would you rather I can rap hip hop or shall we? Or I'm pushing Galu. He found this. Well, it's a. If we're being honest, the only one just can I be my own aid. Well, some high knee in there. A deep and try hard better. 
worthy, but going to ruin Croen to Will, and going to ruin of a dreadlocks and Aidan Gumrag. My Hindi won't take with us, but no, my Gumrag, they're going to evade, they're going to come left, they're going to be real. Where then Kavri Voldeb no, they're going to eat Kelv da. Yeah. In fact, you know, do we make your path patronizing, but in the Finnia bubble, see, when they're real, they're not with. See, you know. Dyna'n heimla di, mae ma Gret bynna na iddo, ond dwi ddim eisiau mynd allan o'n ffordd yn wow, brilliant, mae'n arwyn y rapio yn Gymraeg. Mi ddwlia na fod rhywun y rapio yn Gymraeg. Yn sicr. Na fod rhywun yn Gymraeg. Bydd 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 a ddylio nhw'n jyst wneud beth maen nhw'n wneud. Mae cael mynd yna beth maen nhw'n wneud, ac dyna beth maen nhw'n gweud wrth um, gwion i fan um, am y fyriwr, ond i jyst maen trio, nhw'n gweld o slai rhan i'r sgrin awr. Um, a gweld o slai ni rhan o chydig bach ar beth o dyna nhw'n wneud. Ok, mae'n trio cael hwn i weithio. Um, o oh dier. Hmm. Falle beth o'n ddim yn gweithio. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. But my don when I get a he have it, I say just a few ban. If in team law, but if in fan or if I thought smidiad, um, and a scene rock and rag, well, to pedal if in can even have a few ban. Gall ichi gael o'r symudiad, ond i ni mae just ni just yn ei ben i wneud cael pyfariaeth a lle bynnag mae hynna'n cymryd ni, mae'n cymryd ni an i'n hapus i, i'n hapus i mynd. Os ydyn ni fel Cymru Cam Nôl tyfa bach i fod yn fwy bras, chyba fi'n gweld y ddoi chi, chi jyst yn gweithio ei gynnau cyn i ni ddechrau'r cordol, chi'n gweld chi'n gweld chi'n gweld stuff i hans, loi, chi'n gweld cynnwys o gyfer stwn, sefyd. I chi'n teimlo yn gyffredino bod yna shift falle yn y Gymdeithas Gymraeg yn hyd estyn cymrychioleth pobl hil cymus ger y radio ger y teledu. Ie, yeah, fi'n meddwl mai, ie, yeah, gyda ni yn ddiweddau, ar ni bennaf wedi cael lot o cyfleoedd, so... Ie, yeah, allwch chi dweud bod, ie, yeah, uh, chi'n gweld lot mwy o pobl um, am o'r hiol nawr yn wneud stuff trwy gyflym Cymraeg. Ond fi'n meddwl, dyna jyst yw'r gynhedloeth ni hefyd. Efallai ni yw'r gynhedloeth gyntaf, like, really sy'n siarad am Cymraeg am o'r hiol, like, ar lefel, dim lefel mawr o'n fel, mae'n lot, mae lot o honno ni fel oes rhan ni, like, sy wedi mynd i fel ysgol Cymraeg. A falle ni, ie, yeah, fel werys i, falle ni'r gynhedloeth gyntaf. O pobl am o hyl sy'n wedi wneud hynny, fi'n meddwl. Yn hyd estyn ni wendeb, sefyn ddydd o'r ôl gwybod, os yn rhywun yn eich teulu chi yn siarad Cymraeg? Fel os chi enni neu brodyr neu chwiorydd gyda chi sy'n siarad Cymraeg? Ie, yeah, ath mam fi ysgol yr un ysgol a fi, a dy um, uncles fi hefyd yn mynd i'r un ysgol a fi. Ie, yeah, felly maen nhw gyda siarad Cymraeg, a dyna pam es i ysgol Cymraeg hefyd, fi'n meddwl. Ie, yeah, wedyn efo fi... Uh, oedd ma mam fi ddim yn siarad Cymraeg, nad ar fi o'n oedd i eisiau, oedd ma'n fi eisiau fi'n mynd i Ysgol Cymraeg i gallu dasgu'r iaith, mae'n cari'r iaith, so oedd i fel fi eisiau ti dasgu'r iaith, a mae chwiorydd fi ddiafod pedwch chwaer sy'n siarad yr iaith hefyd. Um, so ie, yeah, fi ni yw kind of, uh, ni yw kind of didacher iaith yn teulu ni, ond ma, ti'n gweld be, ma'n ma neis y ffaith bod ma'n fi ddim yn siarad yr iaith, ond ma'n cari'r iaith. Um, and she champions it, and my just Asia, or the Asia Guthioni Gathi. Them just Shara the Riaith, or not the Guthioni Kadu Riaith at all in the Gadalarasco or Herod of Ingobod, being a Cavleo di Gathi Naid, Pathaguahana la Mahana di Mahana di Dangos have a Beni di Naid, Madi Guthio, Guthio V have a Kurda Pobol, Sidi Naid Sauer have a Boed Nu, Unner, Unner, er, Ocho Kamrago Pathe. Um, I'll need to go with that when I turn on that kind of could that pop or could that lawyer that stuff. I need to get that nice of a hand. So, yeah, man, man, nice. You got the shadow that you are. But you are being actually shadow that. But Taylor, we the kind of road, you know, so far. And I got the board around the yard. Yeah. Now, if you touch, if you touch on the back, for now, based on the problem you had, if you avoid and discover Amal Hill and Mintroy, Addis Kimbrag and did you then come really on your way there? Yeah. Um, yeah, they're fine. So yeah, there's a lot of people. Um, the inner school. Um, well, in the time, hopefully, they must need to eat. 
Um, and yeah, I'm working well than I'm now with my now that yeah. yeah. I'm going to score them like. Yeah, EV or then kind of a thing or well, bone cut the man boiling pots on another tower of hobble. Oi, the Nedra, well, V and Shadow can bribe when he got the Edge of Lani, a Vogel, or yeah, then I, then I, and Ressa Mavisha, Kadu Yai. On V Lucas, or Harry with Pamony and Bloyden Quay, Honey, the Codver Tailey, um, Finn V, or the Seedon Dodor Gogled, and the Codver Tailey, rather than Boo Rake on the Cardinal of V. I'll then I kind of only draw to your Troy Ramser, so only, only them just in Shadow come rag and a Rascal, whether only Shadow come rag, Tiat Lani Rascal. Or that in a Gohania TV I had with Evon on as my loads of Pablo, Sinadra Felony, Tingo, Vasha, Vasha, Vasha Manu Tang Labo. You know, there's no point keeping the language I had with Amanadin, and I don't blame him. I had with Manadin, B, the Adrani, seen probably Bo Mangati great going on the Mother Danai, not Pathanesia, kind of Nay do. Now with the Ford, my Pablo and Adrika, now with the Ford, my Pablo, Sinadra Felony, uh, or you know, credo a guahan or sabid guahan or on the be seed seed un cumbri and adjacent have all okay, there's some way you can take the language. Uh then I then I've kind of been here, been here, she had need. He just says a crack of that, didn't he? Yeah. Uh my may then come back and fall guahan, we need them. I can't my yife come back, my palm go about the connection of our yife come back of bad on yes. Uh thing on my gay and in gassy babe, my path and in gassy name, guahan or lead, yife say snake. Ningasi, Ningasi, out of path, I've been in Mathi Nade and I say snake. Ah, uh, Manasin, Manasin, Venini, ah, only Nisha, I got a scene Lana. Ningasi Nade, Capdaria, see them, see them normal, see them cool, cool. Um, he and an Ariatama, so yeah, Nijas and Shane, Capdaria, that. At five point Ningasi Nade and Kamrai, man, it's an extra skill, it's an extra thing. I'm, why not? You know, but. Yeah, why not? So I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the next um, now I'm going to be able to get a band, Paul B. Nailod, Zim and Sharad, um, Zim and Doro Daily Kimrag. Um, I'm going to be able to get a band of in Yathigra, Don Malloyd, or Ann, Osna Don Newid, or Venus in Rock and Rag. See my neggy and Annie Ethno Mount Ford go on all. Um, we may have got an exciting, but I don't know, a station now with and kind of sort of mount your read read and a and a scene. Um, I've had problem crane cardiac. When we were born in Galavan, seen rock and rag. I've had Tom and James. No, no, cardiac. I've had you know grime. I like hip hop. I've had kind of like when we were born. I've had seen rock on my 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 amal genre. Ruset. Ah, we 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 made up for an for an to thor all down. Um, just a form and kind of double like in our um, around Val, you know, some of this nothing dacher about kind of squanny and eight stuff in the mag of a horse, I don't know, a David to Thorta, Mount Camrag or Punk and a scholar within the sea, Minlani, a study of any me on Val Pan Panesi dacher, Val, a city of a Val, I don't know, Val, a kind of culture and and I came out that I had a more than Shara Kamrag get a skill than a skull. Um, just can Bob make sure I'm not Bob and a skull. Val or Talia the Kamrag. So my Val is Sanyado Val for the Yath Ginta that the Banag. My Val kind of like your family language. I I wouldn't need Val Yath a skull. We made a board. Um, Mahinan Rubas Benodo. See then kind of dig with. Um, and I only just kind of like I don't know. Only mine. Cray Rubas or an Rubas, well, only mine Cray, well, in any musician really, pan, pan teen kind of Cray Cardaria, teen Cray music, teen Hoffy, well, if I see them and Cray, if it's your own, well, thing, teen mine Cray Rubas, teen Hoffy, or us, at the end of the day, teen many board and got a board of person, teen many got a hard in our well, draw or draw, you know what I mean, you got to stick by Bech and Cray. And um, only mine Cray Rubas, um, Val and Adlo Hina, Val, and 
I don't know, been been kind of been really lucky. Pam Dorman great val. I don't know, man skill extra, my own skill extra, val ran val panting cray carloria, my my nineteen sabbath mass run ton of ball and Henry after dying habit, um a gamble chain gasly to squanny carloria man yes. Well, I don't know, see them as a snag. So we, we made a but an exciting board, Catharion, and kind of tried Gumrag. Uh, well, I don't know, we'll see the Nate Strath, Catharion, and Sisnag now, and Dachrador. Well, oh, I'll give this a go. And or fringe of being been good boards in Catharion, see the way the mint show value system out this, talk of Gumrag. Irene Vathos of Elfavi, um, Vian Kanabado, Val Austin Masquani Mania, see them rather than toward Gathardis get Nick Gathardis, but Val Masquani get the board and process really personal, Val can go but board and process really personal. If uh, we made the board pop all and back, so we the pants and Squani Val lyrics or stuff in the rag or Carl Path and Howard, um, just can board toward Prothead Nu and Escalu. Both in Cal, I don't know, telling off um Cal Yath and Nanga where a wedding was a tip over a tread dad and I don't bitch on down my signs or stuff. To my Marani Bodden could have bought up board to my Ochor, Camry Kamrag and Ambadoli, and my Gatli Bodden oppressive, Adelie Rochor, Arlo, Camry Kamrag, see the Gatli Shell Kamrag on the Maradro than Gathor the Sea, Todd Crea Squanny and a Gavrang and A. Um, have you made all done art? Thing at Hinebury season, Dech Nowid, and we made the Bodang in kind of more canal guys that at Hinebury are given by artists just even curious, you know. But they see metal honey rice. Well, no, so no, they don't do that. It just ain't right. But that ain't right. Even or Petha when he quarrel with a Rinatek or the Sunday ma does a dim howl bright argumentator. Mm. I have a tablet in a gumpas mel cavaliata. You, the son of a young in Anghawir. I can am look to go up, but where he wants on am post punk. On inner path of a punk, oid, but if we got seven fiola, Bessie Ini, etc. than in the Norlier with Decker of Amharkir Yai. No wither for the tea squenny at deed petha and fan on a bar, as other than he shook with your subadlet. Bethy, or so the room quin on bed than he naid, or than he dwelt in a bell through the ant. A ganam look to a man a bobble and team up and a bobble, Nedali Vic with the course that he but ungathy bear nyati the savon yaiti, hot point to bed than he antrionaid, um, oith and there. Sorry. Yeah. Bobble of the at this Yeah. In, in with Eto, but then in teeth your own Clibbenag than in teeth your dies, the sunny action where thin are pen the bubbles in Beniati. I was only just a medal gret. The teacher cow, I got a dress and I bowed. The little bubble and said, I'm guy a dresser. Oh, what did they hena? Danny heavy, my pow did they to hena. Ma pawb yn cymryd parch o'i greft yn dyrru. Mm. Siwrs gwennu'r gân ora, dan i'n siwrs gwneud y mynegiant gora, dan i'n siwrs cael yr cynhyrchu gora. Ti'n mynd mae'r geiriau yn golygu rhywbeth. Felly, di o ddim yn golygu, bod ti'n ddim yn y gofalu am beth ti'n wneud. Ti'n mynd credu bod ti'n siwrs gwneud y beth gora fedru di. Ond mi'n dod yn ôl i'r ysbryd na fel oedd... Um, Mae hei'r yn sôn am yr er, er arlunydd mewn ffordd yn dda. Ti'n mynd just yn peithio canvas i'r di. Hwna, dyna fo yn dda. Mae hwn peithio canvas yn dda. Ia. Drosodd wedyn, gwch chi gytuno, neu angen tuno, di rydi ddim yr ots, mae'r weithred wedi cael ei wneud. I ffiw bynna'n ei sens, achos i fi dyna oedd punk rock, bod bo ni'n gallu wneud unrhyw beth ni'n siw wneud yn Gymraeg, ac hefyd bod gwneud dyddiaeth y peth yn parchu pobl eraill. So, then I bear the connection from Rattle, Tin Cavarvo, Popol and Lada Basque, Nain Sadow, Nay Skilly Wedon, Simana, Tundragly Duddle, at Tin Clodan Proviat Guanol. Fortis to Melly Katia 
Mae'n dyddiau ni wedi mynd, ond fans o'r crwm am y Zilan newydd oedd o'n nadwy o bell i fynd ar ddau sy'n gweld. Ond sam brilliant, y bysau gallu gael band fel crwm am wedi sel y newydd, band Maori yn dod i Gymru. So, dyna'r safo wych i'r bands, a bod nhw'n rhannu llwyfan, rhannu pryfiadau, mi'n gyfle hefyd, wrth gwrs, bod ti'n meddwl beth ti'n cael ar newyddion, faint mae ein rwy'n yn ei wybod am sefyllfeydd mewn diwyllian a gwanol, bledydd gwanol, ti'n meddwl beth ti'n edrych ar y mainstream. Sicr. O'n i'n mynd i... Mi'n credu bod eisiau ni'n feddwl am y tu'n cloi nawr, o'n i'n mynd i ofyn i gareth, os yw ti'n meddwl bod y ffaith bod dwy iaith yng Nghymru wedi effeithio ar y ffordd mae'r sy'n cerddorol wedi datblygu yma? Um, yeah, I, I go back to, to, to what Rhys was saying and, and Katie, really. I mean, I think, um, you know, what I heard in, in, in Wales when I was growing up and my misspent youth and when I should have been revising for my GCSEs, you know, was, um, you know, that was a mix of languages. You know, there was that sort of broken Welsh part English. And that was at the time I thought that, well, that was kind of a feature of growing up in Cardiff, you know, because it's so so English, you know, in culture. Um, but also just the the kind of um, how freeing that was that, you know, like Reeves was saying, that people describe themselves as not being the best Welsh speakers. And, and I've, I think I've heard Adwise say that as well. So, I mean, it's still being said now, and Katie said it in terms of the situation that she's, 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 she's writing in, you know, but that doesn't matter. Um, it didn't hold people back and, and that was that was really important so um, you know that that was really really interesting um, I think the language situation here is very different from that respect as we've discussed this evening and um, so I think Wise work is really interesting and, and in particular because he's drawing out people who are not necessarily using the language but drawing on on the, on the politics um, and using the music to do to, to you know to really heighten um, issues and and you know a way which new generations are dealing with some of the same issues. So I think language again sort of kind of the, the impact of language. It's not the language is not the important factor in it. In, in to some extent, it, you know, it's it's malleable and it's changing and it's used in in every, in whatever way the artist sees fit. And I think that's really interesting and. You know that certainly Wise work and, and other bands in New Zealand like First Move they mix and match English and Tereo. They they don't necessarily do all Tereo songs or all 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 English songs. And I think that flexibility, that malleability, is really important. And that's kind of um, you know sort of to expressing oneself really. And I think that's really important that we don't get hung up on these things. And I, and I kind of really agree. It, it's complicated, you know. And I I think you know in terms of this partnership with. Cardiff and, and, and Waikato, I think, I hope someone's listening and, and can fund some really great research on this stuff, because I think, you know, like, like Reese's idea of bringing bands together, I think we need to bring academics together or academic musicians together as well to talk about these issues, because there's so much commonality here, and that, but it is also a very, very complex issue to, mm -hmm. to unpack, really. So, um, yeah, it's really interesting, but I think, you know, like that the, there's a double-edged sword to having things like, you know, the you know the the you know music Welsh music days or those kind of things. They're platforms, but also they kind of you know they categorise and they they say well this music is regional or based in country or an identity, and that's something that we've seen really um, that's really hampered New Zealand musicians actually. You know with streaming services, the the global data and the way in which algorithms uh, are, are calculated now that you know New Zealand music is just one pot. And you're unable to distinguish genres now, and and you know it's really hard for for uh, people in 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 genres like post punk or narco punk or anything of that nature to sort of really rise up and be and be heard. So that's a that's a real problem. You know that that categorization actually causes problems. Do you carry behind the ear? I'm going to be having to do a just just nothing should be that. Kerzorias yais gumrag weir or some. I'm not going to mention one of that though. Kerzorias yais gumrag egal. Ond we nemo bod o lor o'r amser, a we moyn os yn ceir i roi'r gair ola i Werehu a gofyn ar ôl y sgwrs heno yma, oi ti'n meddwl bod na 
Todd rhywbeth bethle a byddwn ni'n gallu dysgu ymang Nghymru o'r sîn yn Zela Newydd ac a vice versa, wyt ti'n meddwl bod yna rhywbeth um, allwch chi ddysgu oddi wrth ein yn, yn uh, sîn gyrddorol ni fan hyn? I think there's a whole lot both ways. Um, I think having spoken with Gareth and some of my other kind of Welsh mates over here as well, it's like I, I was aware of how many parallels there were, but I think particularly hearing um, like Reese, Katie, and Lloyd as well. Um, yeah, I, I just think there's so much similar stuff that we're all doing. Um, there was something that Katie mentioned earlier about um, feeling like a kind of safety writing songs in, in Welsh for her. And, and I kind of feel the same thing with writing in Tadeo now um, because it, it's this kind of thing where um, when I write songs that are mostly in Tadeo, um, it, it, it's this nice thing where I can kind of say whatever because 80% of the room <laughs> don't know what I'm saying, but the few people that are there that are getting it, um, I've had some really amazing conversations um, with people after shows. Like um, I did a song that used the phrase that I mentioned earlier, Kafa Fai Tonu Mato. Um, and one of my mates came up to me um, after the set and he was just like, man, that new song was great. These white people in the front didn't even know it was about them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I think, I don't know, like, I think I mentioned the Maori stubbornness earlier, um, which I think permeates a lot of what we do. So like, if there's anything I could impart from our side, it's probably the just keep being stubborn, just keep, do it, keep doing things the way that feels right to you as not just as an artist, but just as it's like a person it's like you know you've grown up in this place you know that it's um kind of yeah you're kind of enmeshed within it so like yeah there's not really i had something said to me a few years ago um which completely flipped my kind of internal weird self hatred -y thing um because i used to be really goth when i was <laughs> actually when gareth was my lecturer when i was undergrad and um, I remember feeling really bad that the work I was doing didn't feel, I guess, quote unquote, Maori enough. And um, I ended up being uh, added to this exhibition for Maori Pacifica Goths. And the, the curator of the exhibition just said to me, it was just like, well, you know, are you Maori? Do you fuck a papa back to your ancestors and stuff? Because if you are, then anything that you make is Maori artwork. Yeah. And that just, yeah, that kind of opened a lot of doors for me in terms of, yeah, just kind of not thinking about that stuff too much, like not paying too much mind to the kind of, what's the term that's used here? The internal colonizer is the, is the thing. Why, when I, when I first came to New Zealand, um, you know, I was, I was given a very clear directive and um, someone with a lot of mana said to me, if you're Welsh, you align with Maori and uh, you know mm. it was it was really it was really interesting that they saw the connection between our two two cultures our two nations and basically told me that this is where you position yourself when you're here um which was which is really interesting I think that's what's really interesting about today and the conversation that we've had and you know thank you Gwenvaid for you know sort of facilitating this it's been really interesting yeah, um, okay, well, we just want to go to the house and we're going to go to the really the Doral, but we're going to go to the Doral and we're going to go to the house. And we're going to go to the house and we're going to go to the house. So we just want to go to the previous call card. I'm going to go to the house. Hugh Williams, Dion, and Catherine Jones, I'm going to go to the house. Diolch hefyd yn fawr iawn i alaw am gyfieithu er mwyn bod yn gallu wneud hwn yn Gymraeg. Diolch i weirehw. A os oes unrhyw yn gwylio eisiau clywed i, gyr i gyrddoriaethau, mae ar Bandcamp Halftime. Um, diolch i Gareth, Scott, 
Katie Hall, do you want fantastic? Do you have a galony tea? I'm a minor scores. I got the girls three smoin, but you put an absolutely fantastic. I can drive to be a gal clawed. Um, if probably had a heave on him. Um, yeah, we just should have been a pop at a higgied, get a project a carrot or a fop at a shimmy for the new grenade. Um, I'll go with the booking par high, you dory fin ye, and a thoi beg on or bead. Do you have a higgied? Um, what can I wet I go? Go with the booty to go to Nanyan. Do you have a very young Nikki? 